now because they can hear me talking. You're done. Now we're live. We're live. Hey, folks, <laughs> it's Thursday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. If you're watching us on replay, hey, thanks for watching us anyway. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, um, yeah. oh, that go, is ahead, go ahead and hit the tinyurl.com RPG swag. If you want to chat with us in Discord, tinyurl.com mhobo inc. Discord. If you want a seat on the show or you want a seat on the talk show, let us know. Uh, this Saturday, however, is campaign night, so no campaign. Maybe next week, though. Uh, tonight, we've got a, a standard cacophony dipshit show is the best we can. It's a shit show, folks. It is a shit show. Uh, let's get to wow. our players, and then we'll get to what they're going to do. We'll start first with Camille. <clears throat> who are you, and who are you playing? Uh, my name's Camille. I'm playing a necromancer. And my name is actually Carrie. I'm married to the DM. Sad for me. And that's all I got. Uh, hey. She's also the uh, proud owner-operator of At Pirate Dog Dice and the normal producer of this show. And she's still producing for us right now. Uh, <laughs> see, there you go. Well, yep. the, the Etsy store isn't quite up yet, but we're working on it. We're working it, on my it, it, set of cool dice, and um, yeah. I, although I did took the big big D twenty to work, and that's sitting on my desk now. And these these I will break. I mean, I'm breaking out now, but these I will break out officially to use on Saturday because they are Taryn's dice. Friggin', I told I, you, I spit um, in every one of those molds. He did not, <laughs> he did not trust me. Oh no! I'm gonna freaking need it. I've got four. Hit points, and I'm at the bottom of the hill with a ship from Fulton coming in. She's yes. never gonna let that go. Uh, <laughs> hey, Karen, who are you, and who are you playing tonight? Uh, <laughs> I slaved over those dice. I put every good intention in them, so they <clears throat> roll wonderfully for you. They are absolutely beautiful. They I actually still spit in them. I, I put. I, I, I sent you the pictures, but I did put pictures up on Twitter, as you saw, and. Um, they, they, this just won't do it justice. They are purple. Uh, you put paper with music notes and Taryn's song printed on them, and just, I just love them. Yeah, and your pictures can't look wait really good. Thank you. I, I wanted to get a good set of pictures if you want to use them. Um, and hey, that's hey do you guys need chapstick for all the ass kissing here? Or are we going to hey, play tonight? Jesus. Please <laughs> leave this to me. So, you know, I think she deserves a little bit of ass kissing. Thank you. Um, so who are my, you and who are you playing? <laughs> yeah. So, so, my name is Carol. I'm a commission mini painter, longtime gamer, and sometime GM. And tonight I'm playing my cacophony character, Rosa the Raven, my pirate for hire. Yeah. Her motto? Yeah, that's, I thought. Yar that's, is your motto? Yar. The pirate for hire. Yar. Yarp. 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 Uh, last but certainly not least, the other cacophony mainstay, David. David, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm David, and I'm a member of this motley crew. <laughs> Tonight I'll be playing Zadar, <laughs> the non binary, gender fluid, uh, changeling, <laughs> arcane trickster who was missing for a couple of episodes because he was busy helping Gruffle find somebody that could do. Greater restoration to get those twenty years he lost back. <laughs> oh, the fun the that we had in cacophony, uh, yeah. folks! If you haven't seen a cacophony episode, you're in for a real treat. Uh, I don't say that because I wrote it; I say it because I know these three players will really have fun, whether they follow the script or not. Uh, tonight, this is entitled <laughs> "Hot Air." Uh, after another job well done, you are paid by the guildmaster from under these nuts and are given free drink tokens for your troubles because you handled the last call so expertly. We, uh, did, we did last week, didn't we? Although I don't think Zadar was here last week, but I believe Camille was here last week. So I was. Peace. Hey, if you got tokens to spend, <laughs> he'll help you spend them. That's right. They're free drink tokens. Good for... Uh, Tonight only, says Fomunda. Uh And uh, the best Keep news bastard. of all... It's uh, drink tokens 
for the Grindstone Tavern, which I believe some of you are familiar with. That was the site of the infamous foot chase with Jolly Roger the Goblin Pirate. Uh, after the headaches of the last job, you are all eager to wash the taste of the sewers out of your mouth and oh, hit God. that way. Uh, the sun is uh, starting to dip down as you climb down the descending street that some of you may recognize was once a canyon. And you notice, oh, everybody roll perception. Yeah. All right, we'll see what we notice. And by the way, this is the bar that had all the bread, the people with bread names, right? Correct. Hey, that's good. Uh, pirate dice in the house, let's see. Uh, um, that perception, that is an 18. 18? 18. 18. 13. 20 for Sadar. Uh, 13 is the low roll. All of you notice, son of a bitch, uh, there is a line starting to form as it appears as though the tavern is there. Wah, wah. You guys are going to have to hurry. Would you like to double time it? Yes. Yeah. God, uh, go to meetings much? Uh, <laughs> Only if you're a quitter. Obviously not. If you're a quitter, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, quick look shows that your destination is starting to fill up quickly and you quicken your pace so that you may get a table and enjoy your drink tokens. Uh, as you weave through the crowd, everybody give me a D12. <laughs> oh, this is always a scary roll. Two. Oh, ew, two. Seven. Uh, roll off, Rosa and Camille. Who's the most shit? Oh, now it's going to be me. I rolled Ten. a one. Uh, Rosa, as you plow through the crowd, uh, you come smack dab into contact with a young academic and papers fly up in the air. Oh, please uh, tell not me. It's not <laughs> you, you knock down the individual and he is face down, uh, kind of wincing in pain. Uh, his papers are scattered everywhere. What would you like to do, all three of you? Uh, help him up. Fuck. I'll pick up his papers. <laughs> Zadar? Uh, yeah, I kind of cast Mage Hand and start picking up papers and stuff, but I'm kind of looking at them too, checking them out, see if there's anything of note. Uh, Camille, Zadar, perception check. Rosa, you pick up a young man with uh, spectacles, uh, and he announces that he is. Uh, <laughs> Who is he? His nephew. Tigo. He's a young bureaucrat that works for oh. the city. He goes, oh, my deepest apologies, madam. I, I should have uh, looked where I was going. Uh, I, I'm very sorry. I am clumsy, and I apologize profusely. Oh. Camille, Zadar, what are your perception checks? Uh, 20. Uh, Camille, tonight. you notice graphs and charts and weird signals and shit like that. Uh, Zadar, you see an extremely long and boring dissertation. Uh, something about aerodynamics uh, and it's signed in a large flowery presentation with the signature Aerosmith. <laughs> uh, Rosa, you help oh, the man. individual up and he, he profusely <laughs> apologizes, even though you're the one that kind of mowed him down. Uh, he thinks, I told him not to worry about it. I actually hit you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, we'll, we'll call it an even draw. Uh, he thanks Camille. He thanks Zadar for picking up his papers. Uh, his outstretched hand is waiting for you to deposit them. Oh, I, yeah, hand them to him. <laughs> Very good. He looks down. Hmm. Uh-oh. Who? Camille, he goes, my dear, you seem to have lost this ring. Oh. It is a small silver ring with a yellow stone in it. Oh, neat. I take the ring. Thief. <laughs> 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 Perception check, everybody. <laughs> All of a sudden, a red dragon appears. Thief. Uh, 18 again. Um, it is nine for Zadar. Zadar doesn't notice this time, but Camille and Rosa, uh, that line's starting to grow. 
Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. We got to get there. And we move it again. Uh, very good. Uh, a quick hop, step, and a jump puts you squarely in line behind a long line of sailors waiting to get inside the tavern. You curse your luck under your breath, but multiple patrons are being escorted out by the fuzz. Uh, some of them have black eyes. Some of them have a little blood on their eyebrow, their nose. Missing a tooth. You missed the bar brawl? You missed the bar brawl. Uh, oh, man. However... There's always time for another... You're gonna play. You know, this means if there's people going out, we're gonna get in. You're gonna get in. Uh, as you look at the motley crew that the cops are hauling away, uh, a familiar voice says, Well, hello, brave adventurers. It is I, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor <laughs> at the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here. It is a pleasantry meeting you again. How are you three doing this evening? Camille, can you hit him? <laughs> I'm like, hold Not on, don't yet. hit him. <laughs> Hi, Mortimer, oh. are you here to drink? I am indeed, and you can notice that he still has a small knot on his head. <laughs> from the previous counter. Uh, <coughs> Mortimer, I, I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'd like to extend my drink token to you. Oh, Oh, no, 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 no. I, I do not drink alcoholic beverages, but I certainly appreciate the offer. What do you I drink? I drink water. That's water it. is the life's blood. You know, when I was teaching at the Grand Academy, I often uh, exposed uh, a different viewpoint than some of the other instructors. Uh, he goes into a long, verbose discussion, and you guys recognize uh, Rye. Uh, the young lady bartender uh, comes to the front door, says, you, you, and you come in. Uh, the raucous sailors pile their way through the young lady, each giving her the old wolf whistle. Uh, she sees you three and goes, come on in, guys. On my, on my way by, I whack a couple sailors oh, in yeah. the head for that. Oh, yeah, there goes. Strolling on in. <laughs> uh, everybody give me an investigation check, see if you spot any open tables. Uh, oh, investigation. 19. Not really my thing, but 13. Uh, 15 for Sadar. Camille, you spot one uh, very close to the bar. Uh, table for three, as a matter of fact. The fourth chair appears to be broken recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll take that table. Rye comes over, dusts it off with her rag. <sighs> Sorry, uh... Things got a little messy in here. What do you guys want? Ale for me, please. One ale. Uh, rum. Rum? Absolute rum. Of course. Do you have any gin? We do have gin. I will take a gin. Uh, guys, uh, menu's the same. You've been here before. You know what's good on the menu. I'll be right back with your drinks. Uh, you hear, what can I get for you, sir? I would like a water. Preferably in a clean glass, preferably large, possibly with a lemon slice in it. You hear Rye groan and goes, yes, Professor, right away. It seems as though Professor Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony, has to Sneed at the bar right behind you. Oh, Lord. Is. Uh, he says uh, over to the... Uh, what is the name of the bartender? Oh, Wonderbread. Uh, he calls Wonderbread over and he says, I would like some bacon and eggs, preferably, with my tall, cool drink of water. About that time, you notice that somebody else sits down next to him. It is a female with a charisma of 15. She asks for a wine glass filled with rosé. Uh, a few moments later, Rye arrives, gets each one of you your drinks, asks you if you're eating tonight or just drinking. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. Do we feel like food? I don't know. I, I'm happy with my rum. Um, I'll just sip on my gin for a while. Yeah. I might want something later. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check, everybody. I do have a question. How is the food at this at this establishment? Uh, I don't see shit. That's only a eight. <laughs> it's very good. 
14. How's the food here? Very good. Oh, and then maybe I will eat something. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right there. Discerning I'm taste. Scoping, I'm also scoping around the room and see if anything looks good there too. So, uh, as you scope around, you notice that the sailors ahead of you are slamming the alcohol down uh, <laughs> at an alarming rate. Uh, Camille, with your auditory prowess, you hear Mortimer J. Sneed expounding on the effects of aerodynamics to a lady who is clearly not interested. <laughs> uh each time he expounds for two sentences uh his avarice takes over and he must take a long slurping sip of water oh god you know i'm glad i failed this perception <clears throat> check because i'm glad i'm not paying attention to this <laughs> well rosa you do notice that those sailors are <laughs> really pounding them uh Zadar, you notice that there are a group of fairly well-dressed merchants uh, with two bodyguards of questionable opinions. Hmm. Um, questionable. <laughs> they look a little bit rough, maybe a little scar here, maybe an eye patch, uh, maybe a strange haircut. They look, uh, they look like they're going to handle damn near anything that goes against the, their boss's way. Okay. So, uh, the crowd is quite diverse. Uh, you got some uggos. <laughs> nice. uh, you got the good-looking lady uh, with Mortimer J. Sneed. Uh, Do, we have a cat? Do we have a cat? We have a cat. We have a cat. The yes. cat wants to be on the stream. Uh, so, uh, Rye comes back. Uh, you guys need any more drinks or no? Um, no, I'm good, but uh, what do you have on the menu? Same as, same as we always do. We have ch chicken or fish. fish. If you're really special, we've got lasagna. <laughs> I'll have the lasagna. I would like fish. Well, you are on the diet, so the fish is going to be fresh. Uh, Camille, you want anything? Fish taco, please. Fish taco, Zadar. Uh, sure, fish taco. Okay. <laughs> uh, Discerning taste. A few minutes later, uh, Camille, you notice behind you, Mortimer is just making grandiose gestures. It's like a bird, uh, a giant bird with a long beak, uh, you know, like the skull up top. Uh, Zadar, you notice that the merchants uh, ha are also eating the fish taco, uh, only most of it lands in their beard as their uh, decorum isn't really up to specs, but you're at the dock, so it's not that big a deal. Rosa, uh, Rye and Wonder Bread have their hands full with the sailors. Uh, the empty uh, cups are quite stacked uh, against these four individuals. Uh, everybody, uh, your food arrives. Everybody go ahead and uh, give me a constitution check. Let's see how well, you if it's good. Right? It'd be good. <clears throat> it's good for some. Oh, it's good. Yeah. For uh, a constitution check. Ten. Check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Come on. No, 12 for Sadar. He might not like them. <laughs> 14. I'm going to say it's good. 14. Uh, Rosa, yours is good. Camille and Zadar, eh, fish tacos could have been better. Uh, not enough cheese, I don't think. The chips, mine were better. Yeah. It's so the fries. the fries are so good. The fries are square cut. They're oh, good? Cool. That's, that's very important, square waffle. cut fries. Waffle, ooh, waffle oh, fries. Waffle well, fries. no, it was only a 10 for you, so it wasn't a waffle fry. Uh, Rosa, yeah, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> what, the, uh, the, the, uh, the sailors? Yep. Uh, you see a little push in, you see a little shoving. Uh, it's not going very well. Uh, the people next to them finally have had enough and they're like, hey, you, get your damn hands off her. <laughs> like, hey, manhandling like rye or something? Not yet. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here because I, 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 I do want to step in. Um, I don't. Oh, of course, you do. <laughs> cast invisibility on myself and get one to hit the other. 
Uh, sure, you can do that. Do those sailors look like they have, um, do any of them look like they have um, pockets that could be picked or anything worth picking? Do All the money is on the table. All the money's on the table, so they got nothing. Which is too bad because they're so drunk, they'll probably be oblivious to me picking the pockets. Uh, Zidar, what about you? Um, are, are, like Rosa said, are they like manhandling the, the woman at the bar? Or just... Nope, the uh, staff is not being hassled, although the staff is headed that way. They mm-hmm. are having an argument with the party next to them. Oh, okay. okay. All of a sudden, Camille, roll a d4. I said, I'll get up and walk over there and, be, and put myself between the two parties that are arguing for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want to do to number four, Camille? No one has noticed you since you are invisible. <laughs> so there's four people at the table? There's four drunken sailors, and there's also four uh, regular patrons there. Uh, so and the two sides are... I stand in between <clears throat> two of the drunken sailors, and I clock number four <laughs> Go ahead and give me a swing uh, now a, a fist will do 1d4 damage plus your strength bonus a kick will do 1d6 and if you used an improvised weapon such as a stool bottle table leg a half lane something like that it'll be a d8 none of this damage is going to be lethal unless you uh-huh. use weapons which would be a bad idea inside the tavern go ahead <laughs> uh 18 Okay, now give me a 1d4 plus strength bonus. <coughs> Where's that at? High left. Oh, there it is. Uh, four. Nicely done. Uh, Zadar, Rosa, as you get up to go ahead and intercede because you are heroes, uh, you notice one of the sailors just... I don't know, loses his balance, falls into the table filled with empty cups, and goes crashing down. Uh, Sailors one through three look, look back at the table of regular patrons. It's on. Everybody roll an issue. Oh, no. (laughs) Like, don't talk to them. Jeez. Uh, Well, that's a good initiative, though. That's a 23. 14. Uh, for Zadar, yeah, <laughs> nine. <laughs> that still beats both sets of parties. The uh, sailor assholes uh, got a five, and the normal people got a seven. Uh, so we'll start with Rosa, 23. What would you like to do? As I said, I was going to step up in between them, like, hold on a Hi! minute. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Hold on a minute. Why don't you take this outside so none of the drinks, glasses, and uh, tables in here get broken? Nice speech. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 14. Camille, what do you want to do? Uh, Camille, since you have attacked, you are now visible. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, that's right. Wait, do I get a... I don't get a persuasion check or anything with that? Sure, go ahead. I'm trying to tuck in the lead. (laughs) <laughs> i am standing in between them though so oh that's actually really good uh, so you're gonna get hit <laughs> well, that's the 23 persuasion i got persuasion. a nat 20 on my opinion but let me roll for the other patrons <laughs> nat 20. i'm probably yeah, gonna get back. uh the other patrons are not going to hit you they are holding their action camille boop you are now visible ah uh, crap Okay, so I turn to the other table of patrons and I say, look, you really don't want to mess with them. You look like you're nice people and all, so eh, why don't you just call it a loss and get out. So the regular patrons. Yes. Persuasion check. 16. Uh, Yeah, fuck. 12. Oh no! They have insulted our honor. <laughs> it are, right. It's going downhill, baby. <laughs> uh, it's going down fast too. Right. <laughs> That's good though. Uh, yeah. 
Zadar, I mean, unfortunately, he's in plain sight, so he can't morph into anything unless he ducks out and then ducks back in. So you're right you know, there. And right now, he's just in a human form. So he's just like, look, he's trying to back Camille's play. It's just like, look, you know, we saw what happened. Your buddy freaking passed out. He can't handle his liquor. Obviously, you guys. Are the are the drinkers in this party, guys? You guys are the party guys. Yeah, you are. You are the party guys. Yeah. Is that to the sailors or the to regular? The sailors. <laughs> It'll be a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh God, he met twenty, didn't he? Twenty three. At twenty again. Uh, it is my turn. One of the sailors looks at you guys and goes. Oh, we have a bunch of talkers. <laughs> uh, but first, let's see what the regular folks. Do. Oh, boy. <laughs> the regular folks leap over Rosa and Zadar. Uh, Camille, you are between number four and number three. Uh, I am going to go odd even on what these fuckers are going to use. <laughs> Okay, somebody's connecting. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> with the table leg. Um, and yeah. actually, two of them are going to hit. With, okay, number three and number four. Uh, number three is going to get the table leg. Number oh, four is going to get the punch. <laughs> Uh, Camille, just as the guy you knocked over gets up, wha-bam! <laughs> yeah. guys hits him. Uh, the sailors are now quite pissed, uh, and they are going to, I'll see if anybody can hit first, and then I'll see who it's going after. Ooh, only one is going to connect. Uh, there's three of you and four of them. Odd, you guys, even them. Odd, you guys. Oh, I need a six. Five. Uh, Zadar, you're getting punched if a 16 hits you. Oh, shit. That is my armor class. Damn it. Uh, can, I get, uh, can I use a reaction to dodge? Nope. To half it? Come on. <laughs> you are right in the middle of the God, vortex. Damn it. Two hit points. Odd. Okay. Uh, Two. During the bar fight, once the bar fight is over, you will quickly regain these hit points. This is a bar fight. Uh, sure. Unless weapons come out. Uh, top of the order, Rosa, you're up. All right. Um, You've got one woozy, one hurt, two unhurt sailors. I've got, well, I've got a strength of 16. Um, I wonder if I could take the woozy one and drag him out, you know, basically throw him out. Sure, go ahead. How many actions that would be, or how many rounds that would be? I would that well, be first. One? You got to hit him. Let's see if you but, can hit him. So what? What would it be? Because essentially, I'm like doing a grapple, and I always forget what a freaking grapple is here. Is that athletics or is that an attack roll? Athletics versus athletics, or strength versus strength. Which would you like to do it? Because either way, I don't care. Either way works for me. Uh, it's it, it does the, the number does change. So my athletics is a five, and strength. Is, we'll, we'll go strength versus strength. Okay, that'll work. I get no bonuses. Oh, that was a craptastically bad roll, so that's only a seven. Thirteen. Uh, <laughs> knocks you away. Camille, oh. you're up. Okay. We're done. I'm casting Fog Cloud, everyone. And then oh, I cast shit. It. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but how am I going to be able to grab anybody to throw them No, out? that's the thing. I'm telling you before I do it, so you guys need to hit the ground. Well, no, Fog Cloud just obscures your vision. I don't think it hurts or anything, right? No, no. That way we can get yeah, the fuck out of here. Fog doesn't rise, it settles. <laughs> oh, I didn't think we were the ones in trouble. I think we were defending the bar. Yeah. Fog Clouds are coming. You can either suck floor. I don't care about the bar. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's fine. I don't think we need to. But I've done, and I'm running out. This is the bar fight I wanted. <laughs> Jadar, you're up. Uh, fog has descended. Screaming from all parties involved. And in the background, you hear, Damn it, Camille! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's just like that's things. Wonder Bread yelling. <laughs> I um from Excellent. from the fog or whatever. I'm I'm gonna approach the guy that slugged me and all that, and I'm just gonna make my face like this cartoonish like face or whatever. Yeah. And and he's gonna have to do a wisdom save. Say the clown from it. <laughs> Kind of. Pennywise. Okay. okay, he fails. Okay. Uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. So he's incapacitated. Rolling on the floor, laughing. All right. TL. Uh, next up are the people. They are going to roll at disadvantage. Oh, the people are in this brouhaha too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's hey, you guys have clustered this. fucked it. Uh, oh, well, there's good news. Uh, somebody hears just teeth skittering across the ground. <laughs> and only one of them hits. Uh, however, uh, everybody hears teeth skitter across the ground and a thump of a human body. <clears throat> so... Sailors. Uh, somebody trips over Tasha's hideous laughter. Uh, and another haymaker goes wide. Rosa, you can't see shit. Uh, the whole place is filled with a fog cloud because I think it's 30 radius. Or oh, 30 God. diameter. <clears throat> so the Grindstone Tavern is just a fucking blanket of clouds. One might say filled feet. with hot air. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a mess. Uh, if you want to try and get out, you're going to need to use Insight. Uh, God. <clears throat> you All right. Um, I was going to take somebody with me, but I guess we're trying to just get the fuck out of the bar. Insight? <laughs> to remember where you are and where the door is. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close my eyes because they're not doing me any good anyways, and I'm going to feel my way out of the bar. I would have taken somebody with me, but... Oh, nope, that's that's only a six. Okay. Uh, Camille, what do you want to do? Hmm. So are they still fighting? Oh, yeah, the, you, you can hear grunts and moans and uh, swings and misses. You, and you can hear the overwhelming laughter of one of the drunken sailors as he rolls on the floor from Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> so does dark vision work on fog cloud? Nope. Yeah. nope. Uh, Thou art fucked. Yeah, well. <laughs> you can use insight to get out. If you want to use insight at disadvantage and still make it, you can grab one of your cohorts. All right, I'll grab one of my cohorts. Maybe, maybe not. 2d20, <laughs> let's see. 19. Yeah, a 6. Well, you grab a hold of Rosa, but now you're confused. Zadar, you're up. Okay, I'm going to pop my familiar omen out this black tressum and... Um, I'm going to use him as assistance to guide me. 60 feet diameter. Uh, he the, ain't seen shit. The other reason is I'm wondering if something invisible is in the room. Because oh. the guy falling flat and then all of a sudden teeth scattering over the room. I just want to be sure because it seems like, you know. Uh, he will not pick up anybody invisible. Okay, so so now I can dispatch that theory, huh? Okay. Yep. Uh, right. Let's see. We'll go back to the fighting. Ooh, somebody solidly connects. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. 
You have no idea. So it wasn't me. Oh, was... yeah, 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 you do know because the laughter has stopped. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what really happened. I just know the laughter That's not stopped. us, though, right? As long as it wasn't me getting dumped, I'm okay with this. Did he make his saving throw? Is that, is that why the laughter stopped? He's supposed to roll a saving throw at the end of each Unless round. you're unconscious, right? He's unconscious. Do we hear a thud as he finishes? Oh, oh, yeah, you hear a thud. Somebody yeah. knocked him out. Damn. <laughs> This is a rough freaking crowd, man. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been so rough had there not been fog. <laughs> uh, Rosa, you're up. All right, I'm going to... So, wait. Camille gonna... has a solid grasp on your arm. All right. Are you leading me out or am I leading you out or trying to? Uh, you, you, it's your role now, so I'd say it, you give it a I, shot. <laughs> I have shit for... Ins oh, I rolled an 18, so that's... <laughs> Yay. You guys start finding our way out. Four legging it, uh, doing the doggy crawl out. Uh, <laughs> and the lower you go, the better off you are because now you can see feet and table legs. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, get on the ground and start crawling. Camille, <laughs> uh, Rosa grabs your hand and she starts hauling ass. Do you trust her or you want to make your own roll? No, I trust her. Okay. I, so I, don't need, I need to try to get Zadar. Uh, I'm going to try to, me and Omen are going to try to figure out. Zidar! 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 <laughs> this way! This way! <laughs> okay, Zidar, you're up. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to best maneuver my way out towards Camille and Rosa, wherever I heard them <laughs> calling from. Okay. Uh, give me an insight. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully it's good. 20. Yep. Nice. Uh, you can hear the scuffling. You surmise that they are scuffling the way out. You start moving forward and you catch the faint glimpse of Camille's foot mm -hmm. as you guys are dogging it out. Very yeah. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> you, you reach the door, Rosa. Uh, the cacophony of fighting is still going on. I'm like real thankful I haven't been hit yet. It's like... All right. Ooh. Double 20s. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, are you going outside? Yep. And I'm going to hope that the cops aren't. I hope the cops aren't there waiting to pick up everybody who is in the bar. Uh, Rai is outside <laughs> screaming for the cops, looks down, sees you guys doing it. Thanks, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> I shrug, like, hey, I tried to, to get him to go outside, you know. Uh, it, the fog cloud is pouring out the front door now. Uh, oh, Jesus. To, to your left is the open plaza if you want to get out of this mess. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> it would have been more fun if I could have thrown some punches and be able to see what I was throwing them at, but okay. Yeah, I guess Do that I was see any of the two sailors from a distance as I'm working my way out? Those would have been more fun if I got. Damn it! If I hooked up. Tonight. Oh man, I was All really right. gonna instigate that too. Next time, I'll I'll hold off on fog cloud for a little bit. Well, You've had enough fun at the Grindstone Tavern for the night, and whistles indicate that the guards are quickly emerging to investigate the mess inside the business. Wow. You move away from the scene of the debacle and notice that the sun is starting to set and the weather is gorgeous. A loud rush of air is heard above you, and as you gaze up in that direction. A sandbag rapidly descends towards. Oh crap! Five Zidar. <laughs> give, <laughs> give me a dex check, Zidar. Or get hit in the face with a sandbag. Oh jeez. And none of us can notice it. To Twenty. Ah, uh, you deftly move out of the way as a sandbag splatters at your like, feet. Holy shit! A reed basket is quickly descending, and a net holds a lot of inflated bladders on oh this unbelievable fucking contraption as the reed basket skips its way down to the cobblestones a figure leaps out it is a small halfling he goes Whoo, what a ride <laughs> he goes you guys gotta try this you know what i've had enough fun and he flips the the key to two, Camille. Uh, he tosses you a brass key and says, 
hey, you guys have a good time. It's great. And he goes, whoa. And here come the guards. Uh, the Benny Hill music keys up in the background. And oh, no. Kippy Lee <laughs> is, is running around the crowd. Oh, Kippy my Lee, God. You currently have the brass key of this 10 by 10 foot basket. What, what, what was the fun he was having with this? Apparently, this damn thing can float. Yeah. It's a hot air balloon, essentially. I'm well, saying it could be fun. <laughs> not much I can do with it now if it's not inflated anymore. It's still inflated. But why is mm -hmm. it on the ground? Mm -hmm. Well, they usually He's apparently are... landed it. So how does it's... it inflate? Is it like hot air? Well, uh, if you want to look in on... I... On one side, there is a metal box containing levers, buttons, and dials. Mm -hmm. In the center of this 10-foot basket uh, is a brass plaque with the SS Bombastic AS on some kind of contraption. All of the bladders have bent copper tubing hovering over this burner box. You know who might be able to help. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was just thinking about going. No, you know what? Like, I don't want to fly this and I don't want his freaking help. <laughs> Let's go do something else. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's grab Mortimer and take this thing out. So are the cops looking are we being ignored by the cops? Oh yeah. Okay. You got cops going into the tavern. You got cops chasing Skippy Lee. Where is Mortimer J. Snee? He's still in the bar. Perception check, everybody. I'm afraid to friggin'. I don't want to find him. Twenty one. That's good. I rolled a I rolled a seven. I don't want to find him. Oh come on. Zadar. Oh, damn it. I rolled a seven too. <laughs> <laughs> And Zadar, you notice two unsavory blokes headed your way. Camille, you notice the Learner Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor at the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical, <coughs> choking his way out of the bar, still holding his stack of papers. Uh, it appears as though you're going to have to go get him if you want his help. Rosa and Zadar, well, these two salty dudes look like they could be a problem. Okay. What about the guy that uh, Rosa ran into? What guy I ran into? The academic? Yeah. Uh, he's not around. Oh. I would have liked him better than Mortimer J. Sneed uh, on sabbatical from the Grand Academy. Uh, <laughs> uh, so there are two unsavory dudes headed our way. Mm -hmm. Can I make an insight check on them? Sure. I thought that would be an insight, but hey, why not? Camille, are you going after Mortimer? Uh, oh, that's an 18. Are they... Do they seem to be headed for us directly? One of them's chewing on a toothpick, sliding it in and out of his mouth, and the other one is flipping a gold coin. Oh, is the one with a tooth toothpick wearing sunglasses? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who are so so Camille? Are you going after Mortimer while is the he other in the bar? or Is he outside? He's outside the bar, but the Smoke. fog cloud is rolling out. All right, I go over and grab him. Okay. Rosa and Zadar, uh, the two individuals come up to you and go, good afternoon. Oh, Lord. Folks, how are you doing today? Uh, we're, we're doing, doing fine, yeah. gents. How are you doing? Not bad. This looks like a vehicle that I once owned that was stolen from me. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I took back possession of it, would you? Now I am making it. I'm going, I want to make it. <laughs> 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 Someone else may want to too. That was I'm only. Gonna... I roll instead of. I got all my good rolls out. That was only a five. <laughs> Can you produce the papers for this contraption? Oh, uh, that's a point. Ah, uh, you know what? I think they're back in my room, but I have a trustworthy face. Yeah, you do. Oh. Yeah, so. Oh. I guess with my inside role, I would have to agree. You know, What's there it? is there is what? a license, you know, that's required for this. And, you know, a slight fee for the friend, license. Friend, friend, friend. I, I'm well aware of the licensing restrictions. But as for ownership, uh, 
you don't really want me to call the guards over, do you? Because, uh, you know, technically you, you're in possession of stolen property. Cut over to Camille. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? What has happened? This is a strange, bizarre atmosphere <laughs> twist of fate. Mortimer, oh. Mortimer. Hello, uh, Shamil, I believe. Stifle. Grab my robe. Follow me. I, Just I, do it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Rosa, Zidar, initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, uh, 14. Uh, 16. Three. Uh, the two men produce what could be commonly referred to as billy clubs mm -hmm. and go, it's time for you to give us our stuff back. Uh, you guys have the advantage. 16 Zadar. What do you want to do? It's just like, well, hey, guys, I mean, you got the key for it. We don't. I think yeah. you need it. <laughs> Actually, we do not have it. Camille has it. That's You're going right. to get clubbed in the head. <laughs> I said, hey. You're well, you're you're free to take it if you can fly it out of here. So you guys right. prove you can fly this? You, sure. Rosa, you're up. I'm gonna more or less I'm gonna agree with my compatriot here. Um and like is absolutely right. We don't have the key. We're just standing here, you know. Uh, I thought it was a rather curious thing. But Camille, we don't. Camille, go ahead and roll initiative for me, please. Oh, <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> I will add, but I also am not sure. You do not have any proof of ownership either. Seven. Yeah. The yeah I think he's attempting to prove it now. <laughs> Camille yeah, can... and Mortimer J. Sneed uh, sidle up and around behind you guys. Camille, do you want to join this fracas, or do you want to get Mortimer into the 10 by 10 foot basket and see if he can make heads or tails out of this? Um, I say, what conversation are we having here, comrades? <laughs> they claim they own it, but they have no proof of ownership. I'm saying, you know what, they threatened to call the guards in this, but I personally think just go ahead and call the guards on us because I agree. Let's call maybe the guards. they can help sort this out on whether or not you do own this thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, thing one turns to thing two and go call yeah. the guards. Yeah. Yes, let's call the guards. Uh, they are going to attack. Oh shit! Six Zadar. What is and three Rosa? <laughs> Hey, at least they weren't both. Jeez. Uh, Rosa, 17 plus 4, 21. That hit. Zadar, 18 plus 4, 22. Yeah, that does hit. <laughs> uh, and they're using weapons. <laughs> uh, three damage to both of you. Uh, okay. Top of the order, Zadar, you've gotten clocked. You have a matching knot on your head much like Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, who is crawling into the basket. <laughs> I make my face kind of look like uh, one of the characters from Beetlejuice, you know, when they stick the head in and make, make you know, their, their faces long. So I kind of kind of distort it like that, and they're going to have to, uh, he's, the one that hit me is going to have to make a wisdom save again. Seven plus minus one. <laughs> so, he have to, so he thinks it's hilarious. Okay. That's uh, awesome. Rosa, you're up. Uh, by the way, how... This is your fight you wanted. I know. Well, no, my first question is how cute are they? How good looking are they? Oh. Right. He described them. They were pretty hey. pretty rough looking. Uh, yeah. that, sometimes so, that can be okay. Pretty ruggedly good looking, too. Uh, an eight and a four. Oh, Yours damn. is the eight. Oh, I'm, nope, I'm not going to say that then because I was going to basically say, you know. Maybe, you know, maybe you can do this once. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I'm Seduction. not playing Rainia tonight. Rosa has standards. Damn. Has two, uh, you're up, Rosa. 
So Rosa is going to draw her weapon since they pulled weapons on her and she's going to attack the person that attacked her. Okay. And I've got my fancy schmancy footwork, so that means I can <coughs> hit them. Unless you want to. Oh, that was a freaking crappy. That's only an 11. That hits. Actually, wait, let me check something. 11 hits. I know, no, that's not what I'm checking. Do I actually get. Do I take two weapon dual wielding, which means I actually can draw both my weapons? Hold on, multiple characters here. And... <laughs> oh, I did Damn, take... Carol. I I'll, did I'll take sh- wielder, so I do have dual wielder. So uh, actually, I can attack twice. Okay. Uh, that's a nat 20. Okay. Nat 20! So damage, damage, and then modifier? Right. Um, so that's going to be. All right, so 2d6 plus 3d8. Uh, where's my other d8? d8. This is going to hurt. Don't oh, attack the one that's the laughing. The Murder Hobo dice are on fire again. That's, that's there. Two sixes on the Murder Hobo dice. That's 12. Plus 8 is 20. Plus 24 and the... God, da, da. So I get the modifiers on both, I believe, or do you know, I? You know you've killed them, right? Yeah. I mean, right. I... <laughs> you've and cut them from stem to stern. Uh, Camille, wait, you wait. feel a tug on your robe. Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you have a, 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 key, a key thingy for this? Yes. Yes, I do. I pick him up and I throw him in the basket. Oh, he's already in the basket. He uh, already. Oh, he he oh, he bastard. wants this. Ride. He is very curious about this item. Are you going to give him the key? Once we all get in. Okay. Fight him. I I need the key. I need the. I smack him with my hand. <laughs> You're up. So you want to smack him or you want to smack them? Who? Uh, uh, thing two. Who's thing laughing? I thought thing he one was... is dead. Oh, I thought we killed both of them. Nope. Wait, is thing, I incapacitated is, one. Is, well, does thing to react to me just basically cutting his hand, his friend in half? Not until he gets his roll. Okay, because I do look because I didn't get a move. I was I was going to basically do a talk for free. I'm like, you sure you really want to do? You really, <coughs> you really want to mess with us? Have you this been paying like, attention the last fifty three minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, what I say, anyways. You so Camille, it's up to you. Okay, I'll whack what's his face in the head with my quarter staff. Okay. <laughs> Not Mortimer, right? No. <laughs> no. Oh, crap. Five. Swing and a miss, uh, Zadar. What's the save? Uh, the fourteen. Uh, 17 on the roll. Uh, He's out of it now. He pops back up and he is pissed. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm in a crowd, right? No. So, huh? It's just you five and Mortimer in the basket. No, I, I'm rogue rules. Do, do I get a sneak attack on this guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah I'm, These I'm, two I'm, are within five. All right. Well, on that note, then, I am going to s- strike him with the short sword. So, and uh, does a 19 hit? 19 does hit. Okay. Initially, it is uh, nine points of damage, followed by the sneak attack damage. Mm-hmm. This is the boss of the two, so he's got <laughs> some <laughs> meat. Uh, 13. Fair enough. Uh, Rosa, you are up. All right. Did he, he didn't see it. All he did was recover from laughing. So I don't know if he's, I mean, I don't want to kill him unless there's a reason to kill him. Unlike oh, the other guy I, that you just killed. I think that airship has but sailed. It just still just hit me. So, um, uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. What is non-lethal in D&D? Same thing, only it's, uh, you just non-lethal declare. Damage. You just declare you're doing non-lethal, right? Correct. All right, so I'm gonna make my two attacks. I'm gonna do it non-lethally. That's what I should have done to the guy. Well, that oh no, that's a nat one because I freaking tried to do it non-lethally. D six. Second attack would go off because well, the second attack would hit because that's a nineteen. Four. Ah, uh, you hit yourself. 
That's fair. All right, so since it, all right, so can I put the the sneak attack on the other guy at least? Mm -mm. Wah wah! Sneak attack's always your first one. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna have to look that up. I keep thinking, well, that's gonna freaking really hurt me. Half. Yep. Oh, seven points to me. That's not good. But uh, she hit her own self. Wait, what did? It... Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> that's one. It just was once. It didn't specify that it had to be the first attack. You gotta but... get a short sword, Rosa. <laughs> I have a rapier and a short sword. Oh wait, it's a d6. All right, so that is um, five and three is eight points of damage. All right. Uh, Camille, uh, Mortimer, I, 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 I could really use the key. It would help me out a great deal. If I, had the key. I need to, I, 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 wait, just ah. wait, wait. So he's, we... he's flipping levers and shit in there. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Do you so, want to focus on him or do you want to focus on this? Uh, so he's still, thing two is still up and moving around. Okay, so I will try to whack him again. Okay. Uh, ten. Not even close. Damn. Thing, thing one is going to attack five, Zadar. Four, Rosa. Rosa, your attack is at disadvantage. Uh, Zadar, yours is straight up. Nineteen plus four. Uh, God, Rosa. These guys are rolling high. Nineteen and three, seven. Uh, so Zadar takes the hit. Yikes. Uh, three plus two is five. Uh, five. Uh, Camille, or everybody do perception check, please. Okay. Um. Uh, 22. Ooh, 14. 22. Even in the heat of battle, you all hear Mortimer J. Sneed go, uh oh that's, I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Zadar, you're up. Okay. This is going to... Uh, I'm going to take my bonus action first. So I'm going to shapeshift <clears throat> into like a living skull and make my appearance go at least a foot taller because changelings can do that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to ca cast Chill Touch on this guy. Uh, which a 22, I think, hits. It does indeed. He's going to take uh, a big whopping two necrotic damage. Okay. And I am me looking all intimidating. I'm going to try to do an intimidation check and say, this is the part where you run. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Intimidate me. Intimidation. Go Zadar. Yeah, 15. Yeah, 15 is good enough. He starts to back up cautiously. Uh, Rosa, uh, after slaughtering one of them, uh, <laughs> spilling out over the cobblestone, uh, it appears that the good. other one has lost his guts and he's backing away. Would you like to go after him or hold your ground? Hold my ground. I have. I made my point. Uh, Camille, you hear a very excited Mortimer J. Sneed. I really need that key, I think. All right. So, guys, can we get in the basket? Everybody, yep. DC 10 decks to get in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Check, right? Check. No All the, the snow. 19 for Zadar. Zadar pops in. 15. Oh. oh, no, I made it. That's, um, check, so that's 16. Okay. Because of the confines of this, you guys are only going to be able to fit on one side of the basket, and that will come into play a little bit later. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mortimer is number one. Okay. Who, uh, and you know what? I'm just going to roll. Uh, number two, to his right, is six, Zadar. To his left, Zadar. What? 
uh, Rosa, which means Camille, you have the firebox in between. Uh, so you are technically the farthest away from him. Uh, key, key, yes, key. Yes, yes, here's the goddamn key. Everybody sees yep. Skippy Lee being chased by the cops, but he's starting to huff air and he's getting tired. Uh, one of our <laughs> chase need grabs the key, pops it in, twists the key. The firebox sends off a jet of flame. Everybody, DC 10 versus Dex. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is this a saver? It doesn't really matter. That's a 19 on the die. Uh, 20 for, for Zadar. <laughs> My dex does change from saves to checks. 11. Uh, 11 is good enough. Everybody grabs a hold of the reeds oh. as the air uh, fills the copper pipes leading up to the various things. Camille, uh, go ahead and on the display... Well, I can do it. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> What's he up to? Where do I need to go? I think a graphic is coming. A graphic is, is coming? It? Is it like winter is coming? I guess so. <laughs> a graphic is coming. <laughs> That's a little something for the folks at home. There are now clouds moving across the screen, boys. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, in the uh, waning light of the day. Is that Anya playing in the background? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. away, the basket away. begins to rise. Everybody <laughs> looks over the side as Mortimer J. Sneed is playing with dials, buttons, and levers. And he goes, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the, really? I hope you do. <laughs> the basket begins to swing wildly. Uh, and people <laughs> down below start to uh, be stunned in amazement as the fog cloud has finally lifted. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Rosa and or Z You know what? Everybody roll perception check. All right. By the way, the clouds are lovely on the stream. Thank that's you. great. 22. Oh, that's uh, 18 17. for Zadar. All three awesome. of you notice that the asshole sailors are being drug out. Two are walking out. Two are being dragged out. They're unconscious. Ah, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> you cannot see the merchants at this time. Rye is stunned uh another lurch we'll see uh, you next week no fog cloud i promise oh, can i sit on the bottom of the basket by the way uh you can but that's going to put your head right up against the burn box yeah you don't want to i was thinking you're putting my head against the edge of the basket the side of the basket rather than the burn box. you can but if you lurch well bam you're gonna bam, right into the burn box <laughs> at least you only burn your ass I was hoping to try to find a way to get a ten minute rest as we as we fly away, but why? You're up in the air. This this is the moment of your life. You no one has ever done this. Well, except for Skippy Lee. And we Somebody's done this because somebody owns this. So somebody's done it. Well, you three have never done it. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. I will suck up the fact I am Everybody not DC ten decks or get lurched. <laughs> get lurched oh no really I'm gonna get lurched uh, 20 for Zadar 10. how bad do you get lurched I rolled a five. All right. so wait is this a check or check. A it's a check that would be a 5 uh, you are grabbing the edge of the basket because you are about to get pitched out oh <laughs> Because that lurch swung like a pendulum, and he goes, "Sorry, sorry," but he's he's focused in this way. Sorry. Is uh, this the theme that I'm going to be hanging by my fingertips off the edge of high? Do you know how to drive this thing? No. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> That's why I say I don't know. Maybe it is safer if I, you know. Camille, are you going to help Rosa? Because she's in danger of getting pitched overboard. Of course, I'm going to help her. You have risen up to thirty feet. So you're you're in good shape there. Uh Rosa, re-roll. You have advantage. Oh god. Yeah, but my dice hate me. We all know this. Oh no, that that's fine. Uh with advantage, that is uh nineteen. 
she uh camille grabs you by your britches and hauls you back in uh you are now in no danger of falling out currently uh mortimer j <laughs> sneed goes huh that is not what i expected uh he moves a dial a little bit slower and the lurching is a little bit lessened and he goes huh hmm aha I whack him in the back of the head with my hand. Uh, give me an attack roll. If you too low, you're going to burn yourself on the burner. Oh. <laughs> also, don't hit him too hard. Don't Seven. Him out. You got you to gotta burn, but you smack him in the back of the head. Uh, take one hit point of damage. Worth <sighs> it. It was worth it. Probably worth it. Sure it was. Uh, he whips out a small journal. Mm-hmm. Begins to sketch out things. He goes, oh, this is remarkable. When I return to the Grand Academy, as I am currently on sabbatical, I, I, something. I, something. Mortimer, do you suppose the Grand Academy will still be there when you get back? (gasps) This is not a crossover episode. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, As as the craft settles about 30, 35 feet up, uh, you have an amazing view of the city. You are actually even above the top level of the hill at this point in time. Uh, And you look out to see ship traffic, a pod of dolphins out in the bay, uh, people along the streets of Cacophony are Oh, just in awe of this unbelievable experience that you are enjoying. The air feels very crisp. It's exhilarating to say the least, even if you haven't almost fallen out and crushed your face, Rosa. Uh, Exhilarating too, almost falling out and then coming back from that. Lots of adrenaline. Zadar is going to change his appearance to look like Rose from Titanic. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Mortimer scratches his head and turns a dial. Oh no! Some some heat jets off, and it's it's almost like he's playing a piano because there's a lot of copper yes. tubing here, and the <laughs> the basket begins to turn ever so slightly. So each one of you gets a new and varied viewpoint. Uh, so some of you can now see the grindstone, uh, while others of you look out on Slumtown. Uh, some of you are looking out over the bay at the pot of dolphins. Others are looking at the giant dinosaur skull in the plaza. Uh, <laughs> he twists it back and maneuvers it, uh, plays with a lever, raises and lowers. He goes, <clears throat> I would like to say something. By all means, By all means. now you've asked, so <laughs> go ahead. I, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical, believe that I know how to successfully navigate this craft to the best efficiency. So I put it to you, my fine friends. Would you like to fly over the city or would you like to fly out over the bay? I will leave it up to you and cheers. And he pulls out a small flask and I thought he didn't drink alcohol. (laughs) Probably water. Did you ask him if it's alcohol? Mortimer, is that alcohol? You can't drink a drive. I don't drink alcohol. This is purified water. Uh. It's from my <laughs> friends. Hey, hey. Does it Aqua- have cucumber in it? Aquafina. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, there's no rum in that flask. I leave just... it up to my compatriots. Since I cast Fog Cloud, you guys can decide what we do. Well, speaking of clouds, the cloud over Stumptown looks stunning as the light hits it right now. So, <laughs> I'd say stay over the city. I think the view is far more interesting. I love the ocean, but the ocean is the ocean. I mean... There's a pot of dolphins out there. Well, that is neat. But yeah, I saw the pot of dolphins. I don't know if they need to get closer. If I want to get closer, I want to be on a ship. And then I'd want to dive into the water to play with them. That Wait, would be so something much- is missing here, Mortimer exclaims. Uh-oh. Hey, Mortimer, I do have a basket, a glass, the- bottle of wine. Hey, Mortimer. Oh, you do not wait. I have thing. a ring. <laughs> Does anyone want to get married? <laughs> Rosa, what, what are you saying? 
I said, do you know how to, I understand you know how to fly it. Do you know how to land it? Oh, most assuredly. It's as easy as going up. What I don't see here is a horn. An auditory device might be very useful on here in case of extra traffic. Traffic? That's an interesting thought, actually. Well, you know, if there were more of these. How many of these have you seen? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. <laughs> How many go. of you, brave adventurers, seen? We can scream loud if we need to. <laughs> okay. Uh, where would you like to go? Over the city or over the water? I said my vote is over the city because I think the view would be a bit more interesting with all the people about and... Sure, sure. The, the, the water is kind of the water. I guess there are ships here right? and there's a pod of dolphins, but I saw the pod of dolphins. Camille. Too far out and then get stranded. I'm Where would you like that. to go? Okay. Especially is there a cemetery? Over we'll there? we'll take a <laughs> we'll take a tour over the city. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I I think landing in the city would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go through the city and land outside of the city. To the city, uh, Camille. You know uh, from prior exploits down here. There's a funerary wall where they inter everybody, and it is uh, just past where you caught uh, the tomb of Cena. That's right. Yeah, the oh no, that that's that's far out. Oh, yes, the graveyard for the Pooh mm. folks uh, is outside the wall. Yes. yes. Uh, the funerary wall is where the normal folks of uh, the citizenry are buried. Uh, fortunately, the good fellas are eh, they're old school. Uh, so good thing I haven't run into them. <laughs> yet. Rosa, you made the decision. Rosa, give me odd or even, please. Mm, odd. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Very nice. Uh, you notice that the speed of this vehicle is not very much, and that seems to puzzle Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy uh, as he fiddles more with dials and levers. Anytime he messes with the levers, the elevation changes. Anytime he messes with the dials, the uh, eyeballs, or what do they call them? Eight balls. Uh, mm -hmm maneuver so it's all pitch and yaw at this point in time and he's trying to go directly up and over the city uh he says i'm gonna need to get a little bit higher otherwise i might hit something Mortimer, uh, do you know what you're yes. doing Have oh you, yes ma'am are ma you taking I'm, notes i no i am paying attention as you have pointed no, out you've been taking notes uh d4 <laughs> number one Three. uh com camille a large hawk-like figure appears just over the basket. Its oh. large wings are flapping. Mm -hmm. uh, the body is humanoid in nature, uh, and the wings are keeping them up. Uh, the figure <laughs> is male, and let's see. Uh, is it naked? No, yeah. he's, wearing, he's wearing a loincloth. Across the city it is, exclaims a jubilant speed, and he pulls some levers and spins some dials. As you gaze out about the beautiful sunset, you hear the flapping of wings, and a creature with the head of a bird and the body of a humanoid rises in front of you, Camille, uh, and cocks his head in confusion. And I say, you're gorgeous. Why? Thank you, eh? By the way, yeah. we can all see him, right? I'm behind him going like this if he's gorgeous and like, uh. You guys can turn around and see him slightly, although, you know, there's a lot of shit in the way. He goes, well, my last name is Canada. I am Christoph Canada. <laughs> and I'm pleased to meet your acquaintance. As I, you, I am currently vacationing because I am from the Great White North. Hmm. Would you How like did you manage to come about finding this item? It was an accident, really. Well, I, for one, am always interested in meeting new people. And for you to be able to fly, uh, I must say, that's pretty special, eh? Would you like to come with us? Uh, there's not going to be enough room for him. Well, no, he oh. can fly. He can just kind of, you know follow along 
no, I, uh, I, I have a present uh, or a pressing engagement that I am late for, but I couldn't help but notice uh, that you guys were floating above the city, and I had never seen a craft like this before. I wish you, I wish you were free. I'd love to hang out and talk or have a drink or. He really is, assuming this thing is gorgeous. So. Hey, he's got, he's got a sixteen charisma. Oh God. <clears throat> uh, that's like what my. So oh, no. you said a head of a bird, or mm-hmm. oh, okay. So it's an aracocra. It is an aracocra. And it's really named Chris. Christoph Canada. Christoph Canada. Christoph Canada, like Christoph Waltz. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Canada's in, all right. So is his middle name Manise. <laughs> hey, nope. as long as he has the Christoph Waltz. No uh, crossovers. Waltz. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm excited to play this weekend. That's all. So, it is. so where are you guys going? Uh, I don't know. We're just taking a ride around because it is so beautiful up here. I envy you actually because you get to do this. You can do this all the time. This is actually quite exciting and exhilarating and breathtaking. And there's not enough. I do have one word of advice. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Don't shit in anybody's mouth. <laughs> That is obscene. Thank you. You're obviously a highborn Aarakocra. Uh, I am indeed. Uh, like I said, I came from the Great White North, eh? Um, well, I must get going. I am meeting some newfound friends at the Grindstone Tavern. I mm. hope to enjoy a good time uh, there. They have a lead on getting me into the... You have it? Adventurer's Guild. (laughs) (laughs) We're all part of that already. I will allow you to enjoy your freedom of movement. And he kind of pulls his wings, soars, and spirals down towards the dock where Uh, a large uh, group of uh, guards are waiting for him. Probably going to get busted. Mm -mm. (laughs) Right. Uh, as you continue to head towards the tomb of Cena, just outside the walls, Mortimer is still spinning the dials and moving the levers. And he said, "Did you want? Did you want me to land outside the the walls? Is yes. that where?" You're- well, that might be pr- well anywhere that has a large enough place to land. Well, there's a graveyard right there, but it's strewn with stones. Did you want me to try and land in there without killing us? Well, don't uh, kill us. No, if you do not, if you are not comfortable with landing there, then no. I want you to find a place that you are comfortable with landing. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, that's okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, if you saw Independence Day, you know the cops told people to stop shooting at the spaceship. Uh, cops haven't told the people of Cacophony. Not to shoot at the spaceship. Oh, Lord. Crossbow, crossbow bolts are coming, and one of them manages to tag one of the bladders. Of course it does. Uh, it lurches. Everybody give me a DC oh. 10. <laughs> Nine. God. 21. Nine. No, uh, wait. No, I lied. Seven. What the hell? Happened? Camille and Rosa, whoa, get pitched, uh, and they are riding pine here. Uh, Mortimer is what screeching that? like a child. Ah, they're shooting at us. <laughs> I'm going to uh, down and get this under control, or I'm going to fall off. How far up are we right now? You're about 45 feet up. Wow. Zadar, the only one you can reach successfully is Camille. Camille and Rosa, you're going to have to roll again. Zadar, are you going to help Camille? Yes. <laughs> Much better. At, I should be better at this friggin' thing. Oh, so that's what, a nat 20. Five. 23. Two rolls, Camille. 15. Zadar, you were helping, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was helping. Uh, Camille, you get pitched out of the basket, but a quick reach of the hand by Zadar grabs a hold of yours and starts to drag you in. <laughs> Rosa, sadly, you are getting far too good at 
getting pitched out of this thing and you managed to spin yourself back in. <laughs> well, I told you, I'm getting good at getting, you know, hanging off a cliff and then pulling myself back up. I mean, that, that seems to be said. This seems to be a theme now. No crossovers. No, it's not a crossover. The last adventure, Rosa ended up on the edge of the cliff. She's crossover. Oh, oh yeah, cross yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, uh, Miko's helped you with that one. Thank you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I made an acrobatics check to get out of that one. So I think I did all right there. Uh, Mortimer <laughs> J. Sneed uh, yanks on the dial and or spins the dial and yanks on a lever and the vessel lurches away from the crossbow bolts. Three more are fired at you guys. Oh, shit. Somebody's going to have a leaky roof in the morning. Unfortunately, there is a large tower of, say, an angry female warlock, and the basket makes contact with the tower. Uh, let's see if it breaks off one of the gargoyles adorning the roof. Oh, no. That 20. Uh, <laughs> uh, the basket collides with uh, a very grotesque looking gargoyle that was used as a rain gutter. And the water would spout out. Uh, however, the basket hits with the nat 20 hard enough that it knocks it loose and everybody looks over uh, as the gargoyle is descending rapidly and Mortimer says, oh, that's not going to be good at all oh, a God. loud crash is heard as the base unit of the tower now has a large hole in it and you hear <laughs> the screech oh, of it no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. uh, the cat then runs out of the building so the cat was not hurt but the cat was highly pissed uh probably not as pissed as uma thurman uma the, thurman's uh, gonna be the enchantress who she's gonna be pissed goes, <laughs> oh well okay 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 spins the dial again pulls on the lever everybody roll dc 10 again <laughs> oh, god it's just been so the first checks have been always bad Ooh, zadar net 20 i fall out I rolled in that one. <laughs> oh, no. Camille, uh, what'd you do? 20. Uh, <laughs> D12 against me there, Rosa. Oh Otherwise, you might be dying. I probably am. Uh, D12. Oh, that's an, an 8. Uh, I, I read the numbers. One of the ropes is attached to your leg. You are dangling outside. Uh, <laughs> and... <laughs> Mortimer J. Sneed's like, oh, poop. <laughs> Grabs a hold of the lever, yanks down, spins the dial again. Camille Zidar, give me another dex check as you lurch back the other way. Oh, Lord. I go, I go every time I end up with you, I'm almost, I'm almost dead, okay? That goes Five. last time. 24. Zadar's okay. Camille lurches forward and grabs a hold of the rail again. Fortunately, the temple is coming up. Rosa, inverted, sees the holy symbol coming right at her face. Tell me you have core strength. You do yoga, right? Three hit points as you hit the holy symbol atop the chapel. D12 against me. Let's see if it breaks. Oh, no. No. <laughs> So terrible. Uh, that's another eight. Uh, seven. So fortunately, yeah. your face cushioned the blow and did not disrupt the ceiling on that. Well, so far, I'm, you have struck I'm two buildings. There on a, wait, so there's a rope wrapped around my leg and I'm hanging there going like this upside down? Yep. Oh, the blood's going to my head. Oh, this is fun. What do you got in your pockets? Uh, Nothing anymore. Well, I mean, like I have... I would have had, well, would, it'd be closed up. I mean, uh, <laughs> you I know what? D, D20, let's see if your pockets are secure. <laughs> oh, D20? Not D12? D20. Uh, that's only a three. So probably. Oh, not. yeah, your pockets are empty. Uh, your drink token, uh, how much How much gold did oh, you the drink? The drink token got spent earlier. That's true. I would use that. No, you, guys, got... you guys never paid for your beverages. Mm. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, that's why Ryan was so pissed. 
So how, how much gold do you have? Oh God. I mean, you know what, whatever I have, I'd say, I'd say I wouldn't have that much of me. I would store the rest, most of it away. Cause it weighs money. I don't know how much gold I actually have. You want to say a hundred gold? I, I probably, I don't even know if I have that much because you know, it's a one shot character. So I don't really, let's say 50 gone. We could say like, I wouldn't carry a hundred gold around just for a night on the town either. You'd have prob- gems though, wouldn't you? Probably bring about 10 gold for a night on the town. And the rest would be stored away in a lot. You long cheap time. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Considering, no, that's that makes sense. 10 gold is actually a lot of money in this, unless your economy is like stupid rich or something. But usually 10 gold, I mean, some people don't even make 10 gold a year. Thank okay, you. Okay, you got, you got 10 gold. Go ahead and give me a percentage roll. I was about oh, to say, come here, we had a good we take can, on our last job. We can say, we can right? say it's all gone. It's gone. Well, That's did you roll 100? Oh, no. But, I mean, it's, I said it's fair. It's If my pocket's open, it's going to be gone. <laughs> oh, I actually I rolled an 11. Uh, so you only rolled, lose one gold piece. Sorry, 41. 41. Oh, 41. You lose four Good. gold pieces yep. as uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> As you hang inverted, uh, you look down and you see a crowd of uh, one nun and three kids looking up at you right where your coins are going. Uh, oh. The nun is going to be the orange. It's a deity. I yell, look out. Rosa, the, oh, the goddess. Uh, a five, a seven, and two seventeens. Uh Sister One Eye and uh, let's see, boy or girl, uh, boy odd. Uh, each take a Enoch, coin to the <laughs> Oh my god! It's like Mardi Gras in New Orleans. You get hit with a doubloon. Poof! Oh. They crumble to the ground, screaming in pain <laughs> as she continues to dangle with one leg tied to it. Uh, oh, Zidar, it's her, yeah, I'm right up, but- it hurts. Camille, you're going to have to use strength to drag Rosa back in. Can I can hand her my quarterstaff to pull her yeah, up? Yeah, you, you, you can pull it. And... Can I try swinging myself or trying to grab her quarterstaff or something? No, you, you don't. You cannot reach the basket now. You are hanging free fall. Oh, God. I almost, th- I almost wonder if this is better to just stay friggin' put. You know, it's funny that you should ask that because I'm going to need a perception check. Oh, no. <laughs> From all of us? Just her. Oh, God. Oh, that's a good perception. That's a 19. That is an excellent perception check. And you see a black shadow coming from the cemetery with big wings, and it's growing ever closer as it is clearly on an attack run. Uh, you see a quarterstaff. Hmm? Do you want to grab it? Or I guess it'd be. <laughs> I'm wondering which is better because I mean, at least I'm secured here. Oh, uh, I mean, with that thing coming, you're bait. <laughs> Zadar and Camille. Uh, Mortimer J. Sneed's like, ah, ah, get her up here. Get her up here. Uh, he is still yanking dial or yanking levers and spinning dials. The craft is moving, not enough to lurch anymore. But Rosa. Yeah, I'm going to try to get in. No, I'm gonna try it again. I what I- you could fly. Uh, Cam- <laughs> Camille and Rosa roll strength checks and let's add them together, please. Thank God I have a st- oh, all right, so fourteen. Thank God I have a strength. <clears throat> and Sadar can't help because he's on the other side of the basket. Correct. Yeah. And hence the real problem with the sixteen. 10 by- oh, so thirty. Wow. Oh. So, yes, uh, Rosa grabs your pole. <laughs> nice. Camille, you pull your pole back in. You're starting to get her up onto the thing. Camille, give me a perception check. Oh, boy. I'm, like, friggin' trouble. Did, nobody has any potions either. Does one of a Eight. Have a fucking healing potion. Zadar may have a healing potion. So. Camille, you don't see <laughs> shit, Zadar. At disadvantage, perception check, please. Oh, shit. So wait, do I know what flying thing this was since I did have a good look at it? What is no, it? No, because you were inverted. <laughs> no matter. First roll was 19. Roll really good uh, second roll, 16. So 16. 
Uh, you also spot the figure getting closer and closer. It's clearly on an attack run. Rosa, as Camille is hoisting you above, you're going to have to focus completely on that. Zidar, you're looking at it. Uh, fucking Mortimer is just screeching like an owl. Are they in? <laughs> Are they in? Are they okay? I think we're going down. They're <laughs> in. They're <laughs> in. Just <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, Zidar, now you can clearly see that a giant vulture is headed right oh, for man. you. Uh, or should I say headed right for the top of your balloon. It is on an attack run. As Camille hoists Rosa back into the basket, Zadar, would you like to try anything as the giant vulture? It's a, it's coming, so oh, it's, it's going to... It's zoned in. How close is it to us, sir? Uh, it's uh, about is... 35 feet away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit it with chill touch. Don't you have to touch it? Uh, I don't think so. It, it's uh, You cast it. To Does it have a range? Does it have range? Yeah, it has range. Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see. What's the range? Let me bear up 120 feet. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can get it. It's a ghostly hand is what it is, so... Okay. So, yeah, so uh, I'll roll to hit for that. Okay, uh, 16. Does 16 hit it? 16 does. Okay. It is going to take, hopefully this deters it. No, I don't think so. One point of necrotic damage. That ain't going to hurt it. Uh, go ahead and roll me odd for left or even for right, please. Okay. Uh, Did you ever see Rudolph's shiny new year? <laughs> <laughs> Odd. Odd. It's going to go left. Uh, Zidar, as your ghostly hand reaches out and puts the touch on it, you can see it veering left and its claws are out. Uh, the nice little talons that they are. Oh, crap. <laughs> Nine plus four is 13. Another oh, bladder has been popped. Oh, man. Everybody roll initiative now. Oh, oh man. This should be fine. 12. Oops. All right. Uh, yeah, six for Zadar. 17. Uh, Rosa, you are unceremoniously dumped back into the basket by Camille. You pop back up. Mortimer J. Sneed is screaming. He's just completely out of control. Mm. Uh, and he is of no help as he is randomly spinning dials and yanking on levers. 17, you're up. Uh, you hear the pop and you see the creature kind of dive down in front of Zadar. And it's going to come up underneath the basket. Uh, give me an insight check, all three of you, to see if you can get the timing down. Mm, that's not great. That's only at eight. Nine. But I have another action I think I want to do instead. That's fine. Camille? Um, <clears throat> 17. Camille's got the countdown. Zadar and Rosa, you're going to have to make a blind stab at it. So, Rosa, you're up first. I'm not making a blind stab at it, but I want to intimidate Mortimer J. Sneed into calming the fuck down and getting this and getting us landed somewhere. Okay. Give me your roll. Oh, that's good. 19. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna scare him shitless. Yeah, um, basically I get up, I go I stand up, I have both my weapons out, and I go, damn it, man, calm the fuck down and land this airship. I don't think profanity's needed. Grab your balls. <laughs> Mature Camille. audience totally. <laughs> Who's she's intimidating? The vulture or Mortimer? No, the Mortimer to calm the fuck down and land this damn ship. He he whips his scarf over his shoulder like Robert Hayes in airplane. Yeah. Damn it. I am going to land this thing. Camille, you you and the bird tied with the 12. I'll let you go first. You have also figured out its trajectory and have a pretty good idea where it's going to come up. Eighteen. Eighteen hits it. 
so I'm going to cast <coughs> Ray of Frost. Okay. Fortunately, your insight was high enough. You do. Three, two, one. <laughs> and it goes right through the Ray of Frost. Inverted. Uh, <laughs> Inverted. It, 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 it takes 1d8. Uh, it's Cougar, man. <laughs> He's about to wash out uh, oh, no. rubber Wrong dog dice. shit out of Hong Sorry. Kong. Wrong dice. Yep. Oh, Five. Man. Now I get the song stuck in my head, Frank. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Only seven damage to this fucking bird. Uh, it, it's going to do the beak attack. And then it's going to do the talon attack. The beak attack is going for the netting holding the bladders. Crap. <laughs> uh, copper is the beak. Green are the talons. Uh, the beak actually misses. Uh, the talons, however, do connect for 2d6 plus 2 damage for 7 uh, to the craft. It lurches violently. Everybody see the dex check. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Every fucking time. Oh, 14. Man, that's a, that's a six. Every time the first roll is bad. <laughs> I'm really tired of freaking falling out of this thing. The yeah. news is Mortimer J. Sneed from the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical, rolled a 14 again. So he's as sure-footed as they come, which is very good. Otherwise, you guys would be oh, yeah. spinning out of control. All right, what happens to me? Well, you know what happens to you. You're going up and over again. But what was it? Six? Seven? Six. Uh, uh, you, don't, you don't go out. <laughs> She's in the danger zone. How? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are straddling the basket. I. You want me to roll for you, or you want to roll? Uh, oh. Ten. Uh, so Camille grabs a hold uh, as you guys are going down uh there's probably a trail of smoke coming out from you you can hear screaming you are now low enough you are hoping to clear the wall who wants to roll against me to see if you can clear the wall oh man what are, what are we rolling d12 okay i'll take a shot somebody's got to roll against you <laughs> yeah but my rolls a bit well i mean my d12s I don't okay, you time. ready? Yep. Nine. Six. Uh, a, a loud scraping noise is heard. You also hear two guards dive for cover. The clatter <laughs> the of their spears and shields are completely audible as Mortimer J. Sneed yells, Hang on, we're going down! <laughs> <laughs> The bird wah, 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 squawks off, and you just ricochet off the wall, patah, patah, and you are headed for headstones. Oh, no. <laughs> Who wants Probably to roll not. against me this time? Who wants hey, to roll? Let you roll against him this time. Camille, right, yeah. Camille. Eight. Seventeen. D12. <laughs> Sorry. Five. Wah, wah. Oh, no. Roll a D6 for me, please. Do Man. I have to? Yep. <laughs> two. Uh, you crash into two headstones. One of them is a pillar monument. Since Rosa is still... Hug in the ridge. Oh, Everybody no. roll a DC 14 versus Dex as you crash into the cemetery. Dave or... 22. Uh, Dave. 15. Or no, I'm sorry, this is a check. 15. Oh, God. I need a what? That's a 10. 
You need a 12 for this I, crash. I get a 12. Uh, oh, Rosa God. is thrown from the craft. Mortimer. Well, hopefully 18. she's not goose 18, in the canopy. Oh. That, that guy knows. Uh, you, uh, Rosa, you're going to asshole and elbows through. Uh, yeah. roll, roll a d20. One to five means you're going to be stopped by a headstone. Oh. This is going to... Oh, that's not a one to five. That's a 17. So you land on a patch of somebody's grave. Uh, and all of you here, several more of the bladders pop. Uh, and then there is just stillness. Uh, as you look around, uh, Camille, Zadar, and Mortimer, you guys peer up above the basket and you notice you are in the shadow of the city wall. As you look up, you see the city guards stand back up with their spears and their shields, and they are pissed. They're <laughs> yelling at you. They are mad as hell. You look around. Uh, Camille, Zadar, investigation, please. I didn't take any damage, right? Correct. Good. I can't afford to take damage at this point. Oh, then you took 20. <laughs> Yeah, what's oh, 13. 14. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you see the motionless body of Rosa, right? Not, she, she is laying on a grave, <laughs> face did. down, with the monument at her head. No, I did not do that. Don't listen to him. I'm conscious. Oh, yeah, that, that's what she did. <laughs> you said you didn't hit anything. Well, she yeah. hit the ground. She hit the ground. <laughs> uh, then, you, then you see some finger wiggling oh okay oh, fine. she gets lost. up and she's not being very pc because she's in blackface from the mud <laughs> you're real funny what do you want to do where's mortimer at he's looking around and well i got us down i'm hitting <laughs> him with my quarter staff actually you probably saved your life I am still yeah, mission him accomplished with my quarter staff. <laughs> okay. Uh see if you hit him. What's this? Fifteen. How much damage? Oh crap. Are the uh, what are the guards doing too? What does it do? What do I need to roll? I think it's D six for the quarter staff. D six, yeah. I got six. Who Mortimer yeah. J. Sneed is out! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Why do we? Why do we rope him into these things? He always. Oh my god! This is like the third time I've hung out with him, and it's like the third time I'm almost like dead. Every time I hang out with him, I almost get I get friggin' injured. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Karen, are you done? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm not Karen. I did not ask to see a manager. There you go. <laughs> That, that's uh, coming. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everybody hears screaming as Rosa gets up and is pawing the dirt off her face, except oh. for Mortimer J. Sneed, who is flat on his back, unconscious. Oh, man. There are still several bladders inflated. The netting is still holding all the bladders together. The basket itself has been tipped over. Rosa's a good 20 feet or so away. You guys crawl out. You stand on terra firma. You are in the middle of the cemetery. And to your left is the Cena crypt. Uh, to your right, there is a loud cacophony of yelling and cursing. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go help Rosa up or examine the yelling and the cursing? We gotta help Rosa. I'll, I'll help her up. Uh, yeah, I've got a healing potion, so I, I mage hand it to her, and I'm like... <laughs> oh, I don't have any here. I have healing potion. So what is it? Uh, what's the healing potion? 1d8 plus 2. Yeah. We roll ones, right? Yep. One time. Oh, good. Nope, I went the other way. I rolled, um, I rolled an 8, so that's 10 points back. Uh, the yelling and screaming appears to be coming from a gnome and an aesthetic that you guys recognize from earlier where Rosa Pyle drove him into the cobblestones inside Cacophony. <laughs> the man still has a stack of paperwork, but the gnome is outraged. 
I livid, uh, Biano. Who in the hell do you think you are? What in the fuck are you doing with my basket? Uh, clearly, you have found Mr. What? Smith. <laughs> Mr. White? Aerosmith. Aerosmith. There we go. Uh, he is livid. Uh, somebody better do some fast talking to avoid getting bitch slapped by this guy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's possibly freaking sick. Am I taller than him? You're taller than he is, but okay. he's very sturdy. Mm. Good to know. Uh, mm -hmm. I will take insight from all of you, please. Okay. What did he exactly add? What was the last thing he said? Uh, so 16. What the fuck are you doing with my craft? Well, uh, 12 for a cigar. And just remember, dude looks like a lady. So. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, 19. Uh, Camille and Rosa, you can pretty much guess this is the rightful owner of the craft. Uh, behind those two, uh, and the gnome is running full tilt. He's pissed. Uh, the uh, bureaucrat is trying to keep up with him. Uh, also leaving the city gates are a cadre of guards and one tiny halfling doing his best to squirm out of their grip. You recognize the halfling as Skippy Lee. <laughs> uh, behind them, you see Sister Cyclops, and <laughs> one of the orphans oh, holding yeah. this eye and two other orphans attending them. Clearly... There's going to be a lot of explaining to do, Lucy. Who wants to try and calm the waters? Um, Camille. Camille's going to go for it. Go ahead and persuade them. I am so sorry that all of this happened. But we saw <clears throat> your craft and it was trying to be commandeered by uh, these two unscrupulous people. So we did the only thing that we thought we could do and we took it away from them and we had no idea that it belonged to you we were just trying to make sure that it didn't fall into the wrong hands persuasion check <laughs> oh. uh she must have net 20 Ooh, so. 20 no 22 You expect me to buy that load of shit after you've Wait. stolen my vehicle? Seriously? One of the guards walks up and goes, uh, actually, uh, I think they're responsible for the dead guy down on the dock. Uh. Anybody else want to add to the story? <laughs> uh. I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I am. Rose chipes in and says, that's the gentleman that was trying to steal your craft. We got thrown inside this. And, un you know, if it wasn't for this gentleman here uh, that's unconscious, you know, we he, sure would have. He's, he's starting to sit that. up like Flash Gordon with a big old knot on his head. <laughs> I'm going to step up, actually, and I say, yeah, the guy, the dead guy attacked us, attacked me. And that's how I responded. Persuasion Zadar, Persuasion Rosa. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Uh, 19. Uh, 16 for Zadar. You're good. So what you're telling me is unscrupulous individuals stole this craft and you prevented them. That's what you're they trying. Were, that that's the bill of goods you're selling me. Yeah, they were they were trying to steal it, and we prevented it. They didn't succeed in stealing it because we prevented them from doing it. <laughs> well, who's that guy? And he points over at Mortimer J. Sneed. He's the guy we. He's the guy that actually piloted and you know probably saved our lives by landing it during very difficult circumstances. He Do is you need from a, the Grand Academy. Yes, on he's sabbatical. A, he trains heroes. You know, if you if you're looking for a pilot for this thing, once you fix it, I kind of look at it like, oops. Um, 
he's an excellent pilot. So you're telling me I am to understand. Oh God. You prevented the theft and this individual saved my craft. Yes. Yeah. That's what from, you're telling me. From a big huge vulture, yes. <laughs> We're all gonna go to jail. The guy walks over to Mortimer J. Sneed, who has still got the birds flying around his head. You are getting a reward. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And we are going to, you know what? One other thing happens. Oh, no. Uh, everybody roll a d12, and the highest one will be the target. Oh, target. Oh, that's a six. Oh, no, that's a minute. That, I believe, is a nine. Uh, eight. Hard to tell in this dice sometimes. Rosa, a black mini tornado appears. Oh, and a shit. woman that Camille and Zadar recognize oh, as no. Uma Thurman arrives and says, who is responsible? Wait. And with that, we will call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> but Mud Hen's okay. Mud Hen is okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, so... You have taken the trip of a lifetime <laughs> and lived to tell about it despite your best efforts. Oh, man. Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy will be the only one receiving a reward for this. Rosa, you may or may not be detained for questioning for uh, cyclopting two people. <laughs> oh, okay, for that. Yeah. An orphan and a nun. An wow. orphan and a nun. Do you feel good about that? It was collateral <laughs> damage. First of all, uh, it was an accident. Secondly, they're not going to wait. They're going to detain me for that, and not the death of the freaking guy. You think that would? I admitted to doing just it. Just keep talking, Rosa. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That the guillotine's waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> so we will call this a victory. <laughs> sort of. Yes. Uh, well, so what happened? So I guess we'll call it a victory because i'm not david final thoughts final thoughts i think mortimer earned his uh his reward i mean hey i mean he did no we we could have plummeted to our death (laughs) that's true the dice giveth and the dice take take away away. uh carol what'd you think oh this is very original very different i really enjoyed it and why I like playing a cacophony. I, you know, even though there was a script and there's a plot, I still feel like we have options and we can, we've got a lot of freedom to uh, and play our autonomy in this particular city. I enjoyed this very much, even though, oh my God, every freaking time I roll, oh, I wouldn't be able to make the damn dex check to stay in the basket the first time. I always got back in, but. You should see a manager about that. But I got a freaking... <laughs> yeah. And you know what? And the dex is one of my prime primary stats, too. So it's like... Not tonight on. it wasn't. <laughs> Sometimes it just does not work. <laughs> rolling ones, twos, and threes on that, you know, it doesn't really matter. I could have it, you know, 20 dex and it still wouldn't make it. So it is what it is. It was fun. It was fun. And I actually... The misses just make it more fun. Harry, what'd you think? So, <coughs> even though I fuck everybody over with the fog cloud, I'm oh. always going to have your back because you're in my party. That's all you got to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind the fog cloud tonight. I, I, I know what I said, but and to tell you, last week, I did not mind the fog cloud then because I really do think that helped. <laughs> <laughs> a cloud and gust of wind, boys and girls. That's uh, right. Remember, young DMs out there, always give your players choices. Okay, yeah. don't try and railroad them. Give them options. Uh, it makes them feel in control, even though <laughs> they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our archive. 
if you want to buy some of our stuff, uh, it's there at RPG Swag. <laughs> Discard. It's uh, tinyurl.com mhobo inc. Discord. If you want to see it on the show, not Saturday because that is the campaign. Hey! Twitter, and it's two hours, Kyle. Two, two fucking two hours. hours. Two hours, Kyle. That's two how you do that shit, baby. That is how you. You know why? Greatest fucking DM ever. <laughs> Folks, let's go ahead and wave, and Camille can go ahead and change us out into the uh, flag thingy. All right. Don't forget to wash your hands, folks. COVID is still out there. And I'm here.